Hello, hello. And welcome back to X1000 Factory on day 22. It is now. And after 21 days, on day 22, what we're going to be doing is um, building a new base. Like we figured out yesterday. That's the plan. Over here. We were before making the new base going to make the floor of the new base so the concrete over here is in the process uh brick iron ore or comes here this is where i'm smelting the iron or the sticks and some steel we're going to be distracted sometimes by these guys Where did he go? This... Did you just see this? This was marked for the construction and it is no longer. How do you drive so smoothly? What do you mean? Without... Crashing into things. I don't know. I guess I'm just. I'm ju I guess I'm just good. <laughs> I don't know. You just watch where you're going. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's harder. Maybe I just got lucky there. This thing is out of landmines. Maybe I should clear them so they run out of landmines slower there. Turkey's driving the old GTA games, original first and second. Yeah, the top-down ones. Um, I didn't play those games, but uh, there are games with this kind of control that I played. There is some racing game that's just like the top-down. Um, that I played. I don't remember what it is, though. Yeah, also you see uh, these kind of controls often in small game jam games, which I also play sometimes. Hello, hello. Oh, everyone. We're going to finish the floor today first. Start making the concrete. Just use the chest here.
Beep, beep, beep. Hello, Veldek. Just uh, trade in Path of Excel, got a new armor you wanted. No? Congratulations. I thought you were done with Path of Exile, that's what you said yesterday. But you are back. Factoria. Look a little more here. We need five stream streak. No way. There was someone recently with a 30 stream streak, so... It worked a little harder there, Veldek. <clears throat> Have to do better then? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This too. That over there. I am too lazy to kill right now. Let's instead continue working on the new base and on the 
on crit. Alright, we have the F, which is the stone brick, which have the L, which is the concrete normal one. O is also concrete normal one. We are making two belts of concrete. And um, then we uh, do the sticks combined with a little bit of steel. And we do that into the uh, this is the last part that we need here a 60 assembler for the refined concrete uh for the r uh i didn't finish this part though right i did not so i want to like take the two belts here uh up and down because um, I will need two separate sets. Of all the things here. Uh, basically, the refined concrete. It is uh, steel, iron sticks, concrete, and water. So we want uh, two belts of concrete. Right? So... It's going to be a belt of contrary, half a belt of iron sticks. Yes. So this is the half of the belt of the iron sticks that is going down. Combined with this steel. This is going right. And then the second half of the iron sticks. Is going up here. It's going to also be combined with this steel. Like that. So this is a uh, concrete. And this is the... Uh, the other stuff. Right. Okay, let's uh, move this a little closer. A little closer. Okay. This over here is the concrete that I will need for the second half. These are the two belts that go into the refined concrete. This over here is the iron ore. Uh, this build is missing the power.
All right, the last one. Um, 60 of these for the R. Let's see. We'll do the same stuff. R is on the input is on the inside. Forty one. Sixty. Okay. Um, this over here is not going to work. I need two belts of input also for this one, instead of one belt of input, like I did here. Because it's three items, stick, concrete, and steel. <clears throat> um, and how will I do that? Even... How will I even do that? I did not think about that. Uh, even on this one. So I think the, uh, the water then, I can do the water on the outside. Uh, a little bit different from the other. Builds then this one is going to be a little different. <laughs> Will refined concrete be uh, not as dark during the night when I'm building on top of it? The color looks the same on these icons. also then does like that but for this thing then I will not be able to
This little hole needs to be bigger. In this case. Unless I just put the output on the outside too. Make this a little special. Uh, so this is uh, 60. We do 30. Um, for one side. 30 like this. Start with here and with here, right? Yeah. I need to connect the long inserter for the other part. That stuff. something like this work I think it will Uh, this one is not going to work. This one is not needed. This one is also not going to work. What is the other ways that I can do it here? I move this one, and I can also move that one. <clears throat> and I can go around make this a splitter and then I will be able to continue dun, 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 dun. I think I will be able to make this work um just to go a little further uh, there you go. Yeah, well, I also need uh, 
the other part this part Okay, that's one belt. Let's see the how hard is it to make the second belt. I think I was going to go from the other side, but uh like the idea that I had here it was that I do something like this so that this is connected and I can do similarly over here at this thing Nothing stops me though from going from the other side doing the same stuff, right? Just do this. a lot with two belts. How do I even get the output out of here? Oh, I will do some undergrounds, I guess. Those are the inputs, and then we go for the output. Go here. I go here. Somewhere around here is my output. Oh my god, this is the uh, this is pretty hard here. <clears throat> uh by making this on the top part, it will be able to go into the underground. 
And then I need to connect two of the outputs here and here. Two. So that... This is my other outputs. Alright, I will... I don't have enough space to do the uh, input for this one though, in this case. Maybe I will move something around, but... Um, how long will it take me to do this? I'm wondering. We started 15 minutes ago. I'm almost here. Just need to connect this output. Um, well, I mean the output. We connect on the other side, actually. So I'm actually want to go that way, right? Because that's the output. Actually, I want to go to the top. I want to go to the top. But um, anywhere will work, actually. Making two halves of the belt here. So I could actually just uh, not do that. Make that a little easier again. Need that. Kind of don't need that. Ah. Um, because I can do, I can go on the outside over here directly. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I first connect the, uh, the other input actually. Let's connect the other input first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> In fifteen. In seventeen. Twenty one, two, three. Four, six, eight,
You set up an assembler to make artillery turrets. I forgot to block off the chest, so now I have a chest full of guns. That's good though, right? You have guns. It's better than not having guns. Should have made a bigger letter, I think. That's what I should have done. So that I have more space to work with. Because of these two belts. This is too it is a little bit too hard here. Hmm. We're going to use nearly 500 artillery turrets. Mm, I don't know. If you place them around your perimeter, you are going. To, you can use them to clear off the expansions that come near your walls, right? Make your wall with artillery turrets. Why not? I'm going to do this again. I think. I'll do a bigger one. I could daisy them, chain them with arms. I guess, yeah, you can just use just more than one in one place too. That way. Like... Like people do those big uh, trains with uh, artillery wagons, but you just do it st stationary. I guess. I'll just move things around here a little bit. Let's start with that stuff. This is the output that I need to take.
Can I make a belt not point anywhere? If I make a belt go back, then it will not go onto it, right? I can do this. This will make it point nowhere. And these small parts are the hardest ones, I think. How do I even do them? This and that over there. Um, should, uh, I should just instead make everything on one belt. But uh, it is too hard because we have three ingredients. Here we will need to take uh, stuff away too. A better approach here. I, I just need it to be bigger, yeah. But that means that I just need to have a little more, more space if I want still just 60 of them. I'll just have more space in between them in this case, I guess. So, let's see. I do 120 then, I think. Well, and the idea then would be probably something like this. Nah, if I do it like this, then uh, how do I connect the water to the other part? I can make two distance between them. Now... No, I think I just uh, um, a little less dense here. Let's see. Drink a water. Hello, hello. And drinking. Again. All right. These assemblers are going to drink a water. Once they are done.
Did you two? Less than that, so I can actually make it smaller. less space but um I don't want it to be unreadable seventy why is this not shown on the map hello because the raiders are out of power makes sense Okay. This makes 68. Need to cut eight more. I think this should go a little closer. Two. I bring this a little bit in, and we have exactly sixty. Okay, maybe this will work better. So the thing here is that even if I use an underground... Oh, wait, but I can do something like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If I do something like this...
And using underground. Nah, the problem is like this underground is in the place where I would like to have my inserter. But if I just use uh, the long inserters here and here, it means that those two belts need to be different belts. And not just the same one. If I do this on one side, like this, then I have two belts like that. I can connect here, and then put the underground in the middle. Maybe this is how I do it. Like that. Right. This also uses those exact those same two belts. That is nice. Kind of. Can I do this everywhere though? Or if I can. Shuriken in some places. Also need the belt here at the same time. Alright, so far not too bad, but over here, for example, I need to rotate around with my belt, right? So it means that in those belts needs to be different. So how do I do that? How do I do that? Like this can just go here and I can like swap them for example somehow um doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, this part is hard. Um, even with the space that I have. <laughs> Alright, how uh, how's my time going? Uh, 45 minutes spent on this shit? Alright. I'm not even sure if I'm going to start building the base today. I just spend the, spend the remaining time. I can just... I'm running out of the um, sciences to research. Kind of. I mean, not really, but... The other ones are... More and more optional. Uh, 
who said floor? I don't remember who it was. We blamed that person. I, w I was almost like ready to go for like just a normal human build. Not me. All right. We don't blame you then. <laughs> Fine. I mean, this is a this is a like a nice puzzle that you normally don't need to solve. It's like uh, there is uh, these scenarios in Factory where you like have a little space and you need to like do your belts properly, right? This is very similar. Have you played through those? I mean, technically. I, okay, it's not that hard, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, 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 I can uh, switch this in any place I want. Like, over here, for example. I don't need to go out directly there. I can go out in any place I want. There you go. This is, a, this is another belt. Like that. And I can do like this. And will make them work still why am I splitting here this looks weird what did I do what the fuck did I do here Okay. You have not, it looks fine. I think you would you would as well. It's uh I don't think even think that I played through it myself. Maybe I did, like very, very long time ago. Single player, new game, and then there is this transport belt madness, right? I don't think it is as bad as what I am doing, because I think this is like really simple. Transport belt melt challenge you want to you want to like put certain things in certain th in certain things right you know so like you want to put this iron into the bottom right and then you want to put uh, this copper over here, and then you want to put the uh, the steel at the top, and then you want to put this over there, right? And then you start the level. Right? It just teaches you how to spaghetti, basically. <laughs> And of course I failed. And like, it just checks that it's all... 
going properly. And then you like win. Yeah. And then you have more. The game doesn't teach me how to spaghetti, I teach the game. Okay, so far it is working, I think. Kind of working here. Oh, I also need to get the water. So the water I can like juggle back and forth between the two sides too. I also need the power poles here. I also wish I had the light. I could have the lights if I was building this also with the lights. And actually making the bots build them. Instead of just placing the uh, ghosts. Parts are not too close to each other.
Oh my god. I don't think I will. I don't think. Maybe maybe the floor is the last one. Maybe this steel is going to be the last one. I don't know. Iron, copper, uh, steel, and floor. <laughs> or do we do this for everything? I mean, other things are easier, right? It's just this is is the, this is the most probably the, like the most complex one. We have uh, both pipes and two belts here. Because it's three items plus a fluid here. It's like really hard. Slowly, slowly. Where are we going through? Can I use these holes in between of them? Somehow? I don't think I can. I can use them for the water, I mean. I can. It gives me a little bit more space between my pipes. Like if I do this, this, then I can do this and that instead of this. So they don't really cover. Hold on, maybe I do this. Because then I can even do the fast inserter here, right? On And so like on every single one of them, I will have a pipe and two inserters right next to them. Maybe. Potentially. So the only thing is uh, when I'm like going around like that. Uh, it's not that easy, but it's not that hard either. I just do this, you know. I just do this, yeah. And if they are not aligned themselves, I just do this. Maybe use undergrounds for water. Well, I'm, I am using undergrounds for water. But like where? Like sometimes you cannot use an underground. I can make an underground go directly here, right? But then like... Uh, how do I power the other one? If they are aligned with each other. I think this this way can work. This way is, is easy. Let me... Try go around with just placing the pipes and see how bad the pipes look here. You know, I do something like this.
Just over here. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. And uh, now we'll do this and then we go up there. Like this, I connect them in pairs. Uh, some of these are too close to each other, so I need to place them even further apart then. But let's say that I continue something like that all the way around, right? Then all I do is to make a fast and a long inserter, right? I make a fast and I make a long inserter. I have two belts that are now closer to each other, and I just do this, right? And this is my belts. There is a still a little bit of a challenge in some places, it seems. But it's not that hard anymore, I think. I want to swap them out but it's easier to place the underground uh, this dude does not work Make it go on the outside over there, the input. But then. But then that doesn't change anything. I think. Boom, 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 boom. No, no, it does. But I want to connect to the right side here. I will need to change that connection too if I was to do something like that. What is he making? I'm making an R letter with con uh, for the concrete. I'm making the refined concrete. I'm making floor for my future base. So we have... Uh, Stone brick here, normal concrete, uh, iron sticks and steel, and then we need to finish it off with an R, which makes the refined concrete. And um, and we're solving a puzzle of uh, how to do the belt here. Here's um, how we do the iron smeltery. What's the R stand for? Well, it's the last letter in the floor. It stands in the last place in that in that word. Our floor. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just going to move this over here.
Um, right now I'm a little stuck on how to make... ...the second belt go in here. can do it like this and then I can change this this can be a long inserter so this does not have to go there technically this just needs to go as an underground maybe not even as an underground I just needed to go back here somehow so I guess I will use a splitter for that. This is how I continue. And now the second belt... ...is going like this. Make it go there. I make it go here. Make it go like that. Go into nowhere. There you go. All of that is connected. Whoops. My power. Power outages though. How is that thing still working? Just RNG sometimes. Aha, uh -huh, same. <laughs> Right, we're officially more than an hour working on just this letter, I think. <laughs> Alright, there you go. We can continue. This is done. This is done. Alright. This is hard over here, but it's not impossible. Um, all right. Long, long. And they're in straight line, it's straightforward. Two. R is hard difficulty, yeah. It is hard difficulty because you have two belts and a, and a pipe, unlike the other parts. The other parts, they either have like one pipe and one belt, or they have uh, uh, just one belt, some of them. Some of them... I, I think I, did, I didn't even make anything yet which has uh, only two belts, like... Or without the, the fluid. Alright, anyway. We continue. Over here. Uh, these are the guys that don't have the spacing in between, so let's see how can I 
deal with them. Just make with this one a long one too. Okay, in order to connect the water here, I can go somewhere uh, around here, I guess. Sure. Fix that with underground. I need to pass the water around. Uh, so this gives this guy this belt already. This guy has this belt and I needed to have uh, that belt too. I want something like this here, now that we have the spacing, right? As with this belt, I wanted to give it uh, that belt. I like this go this side earlier. So I can make the underground come out earlier. I will be able to rotate it around here. And this is going to be my second belt. So now I can, over here, just do this and that again, this and that again. All right. I'm just going to build it and it's not going to work. But it's fine. Maybe like a substation is a good thing to research to. Uh, to build uh, some things easier. Um, so that like, because I didn't even connect the power here. But like, I even have space for the power. I'm not sure anymore.
And another outage. Maybe I should uh, give them these things. Finish the accumulators and everything, you know? I was also coming here to clear the biters. Um, 
How did these guys get there? I was clearing so that this does not happen. But they still got there. It's like one of the leftover guys that I was killing up there, right? <clears throat> they went for my base. I thought they would not reach it because there were some still landmines on the ground. But they found their way. I'll rebuild this. Actually, hold on. This train. Train, 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 train. It needs to go to this station. We just. Which will just rebuild the thing. I'll make it go there for two minutes. I'm gonna get to go there for five minutes. I don't know. This will put all the things that are required here, including the efficiency modules that were still missing here. Um, okay, and I myself am going to go for um, was there a raider here that was destroyed? Maybe there was no raider here. I'm going to go for the um, things that are missing in this build, which is power poles and accumulators. I think that is it, right? Power poles and accumulators. For the next solar panel, I need to like bring this stuff there automatically I did not set this up here yet accumulators are over here okay um, we go here we go here Mm, the water is not connected. But it was also not connected over here, and it, now it is. Now it is connected on all the sides. Nice. Now I can do this, right? Right. Uh, 
and that is wrong, so I will use a long inserter there too. Okay. Let's first connect the water around. Yes. One, two. Three, four. do this I think this will connect properly um I'll do this. That this also connects, alright? This is all connected so far, right? I don't think. I messed up anywhere so far. Accumulators and power poles. I'll take power poles from here. Okay, so this over here is not connected, right? Yes, it's not. And this is also not. I kind of want to even do something like this then. There you go. stuff I'm bringing. Do I have a report on me? No, I don't. Okay, whatever. I just bring them to these chests. Mm 
Okay. Done. Belts go here. Make another belt go here. By the way, in this R, I need uh, to have two sets of belts, two separate sets of belts, because I'm consuming two belts, uh, right? So actually, like, 30 of these, and if this is 29, if this is 29, then this is 30. So, like, this over here is already, like, should come from the other side, you know? We have two sets of belts. Um, over here I did something. I think uh, it was working, right? So I'm not going to touch that. Although I did it a little differently. But yeah, this over here is like one belt. This over there is the other belt. One. Maybe I will just change this one, the first one, so that it's easier for me to bring the water. Or like, you know, I will do this. want one two belts like that one and two so these, these are the two belts of the input coming over here right and then i want two belts of input coming over here too so it seems like what i will do is uh this guy is going like that, and this guy is going like that. No, this is my two sets of input. Uh, so this is going up. I can connect, continue connecting that as I was doing before. That's not a problem. And then over here, you can actually do this thing. that here this I will do this thing okay uh, 
No. No, like this. Which is similar to making this a splitter here. And making an underground go there. Hmm, okay. And I think that's that that's it. Uh I mean there is also like the water is connected everywhere, right? I just need to have the water input, but let's say that this is the water input. But I will probably connect the water on the bottom. I I don't know, I just need to connect it somewhere. POE is almost as captive as Factorio. I traded a bit in POE and I brewed my character a bit, but there is still way ahead. Tested and it seems stronger. Till we'll tell more later. I tried Path of Exile for one day. I played through the tutorial and it uh, didn't. I just didn't. I couldn't get into it. I also tried playing the Diablo games. I don't know. I think I'm just not into that kind of into that genre of games. Show your whole base, please. Can you show your base? I can. This is my whole base. I only have the... Uh, the red, green, and blue signs going right now. And uh, I'm making... My current SPM. Since I have the blackouts all the time. I have about uh, 870 uh, science per minute. At least the uh, the blue one. The red and green is doing 2000 a minute. I'm consuming in the last hour the science at 2000 a minute. That's probably why I'm having the blackouts, because I'm doing more than I actually have, like, the ability for. I don't have that much resources, actually. That's why I'm having the blackouts. Makes sense. I'm, like, using my buffers for now. I think. Alright. We are going to build a new factory. That's why we're doing the floor. Because, uh... The final factory needs to have the floor on it, right? All right, now I don't have any floor anywhere except for the design area over here with the brick.
Yeah, me neither on first. I don't even care about story. It's the mechanics in the late game on how to put things together so it works well. So, like, I didn't get into the early game. And uh, because of that, I never saw the late game. So that's why I never got into that game. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. Okay, so these belts are also supposed to go for this dude. I think I'm not even in late game, maybe mid game, I don't know. Lurk for reals. Right. I think I'm going uh, down here with these dudes. Again! It's the same place, too. I was just clearing the biters here. How did they get there? What? Is it uh, from the top over here? We have a hole. Yeah, probably, probably this hole. And these guys are actually the ones that are attacking me. Is because I'm missing the landmines here. I also don't have any bots there. Okay, this should be connecting. Oh, okay. Except for these three assemblers. All the input is connected, I think. Alright, I have a deadlock of trains, by the way. Amazing. All the trains are stopped. <laughs> All done. Just because this train is out of fuel? Alright, well, I didn't have that in a while. What, uh, what train is that? Is that the mining outpost train? Alright. I think I might um, upgrade... Uh, I might tr want to rethink my train system a little bit so that, like, you know, I want to account for the potential mistakes that I'm making, like this over here. Also, obviously, I'm just missing some signals in places, so I can, like, I'm not... Yeah, I should place more signals around the tracks. It is the mining outpost train, okay.
So speaking about that train that ran out of power, this is very weird because uh, I guess I'm just not powering it. I'm powering this train. So I just should do the same for this guy. Uh, any fuel somewhere? Around these places? There you go. This train will stop running out of fuel now. It's impossible to see these rocks. Okay, I bring these guys the bots and uh, and some of the landmines here. Yeah, there you go. This is this is why they attack. They go through here. I will not destroy that nest though. I'll just give them the landmines, these guys. Alright. Continue. It's been two hours now for this letter. Um... We just need to connect these three assemblers. It's not that hard, right? Okay, I think this is it. Now, the output. A little bit more. A little bit more is necessary here, which is the output. The hardest part about the output is, though, just uh, this hole in the middle of the R, right? So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, the output, I want it to go up. Uh, somewhere. So let's see where can I make way my way up. I want to go out of this place. There you go. This is uh, this is how I do it, I guess. And now I need to find a way in. And I guess this is my way in. Okay, so this over here is, uh, well, I mean, what I need here is if, if this is where I'm getting the, my output, right, then I want to, like, uh, make two halves of the belts, obviously, right? So, um, starting with this one, I'm going to be counting, and I need to count 30 assemblers. This is 21, and I need nine more. Uh, so this is five, and I need four more. This over here, this is where I start. Going to the right, other guys are going to go on the left.
Here is search like automation doesn't get multiplied. When you start this run, did you have to handcraft and key science for automation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, automation is the only science that is uh, just 10 science packs. So, like, this is 10. But anything else, like the gun turret is 10,000. Only the stone wall is 10,000. That's just how the game works. That's good at least. Yeah. I guess because bec it's because people did the high science multiplier runs before. Maybe like at some point they figured the developers that the automation should not be multiplied to allow for these things. my inputs what was the hardest part in the beginning um so like the first research is automation which is 10 which is easy right but then the turret is 10,000 right so you need to before the turret to be protecting your base manually and you need to kill some bases most likely so you need to like basically fist fight the nests you don't have the uh the submachine gun shotgun you don't have that stuff right so you take your fish in your hand and then you then you just punch those nests that's the first part. Then after that, you have the uh, the turrets, the normal turrets, right? But because of how much um, science you need to make, you're making a lot of pollution. And pollution converts into the evolution of the biters. So, like, uh, you need to upgrade from the just the turrets with the yellow ammo before the behemoths, right? All right, like right now my evolution is at 99.3%, right? But we got to the 90% uh, like relatively early in the game. So you have to go towards the flamethrower. Flamethrower. Right? So you need to research all of that things. And if you research all of these things because of how much science you are making, you are looting so much that the evolution is almost at the behemoths so you're going to when uh, basically when we got to the flamethrowers the evolution was 89 percent so you need to go with yellow ammo against the big biters that was like the second hardest part uh and now the game is easy like we're using the landmines and landmines are op that's where you failed on the first run? Yeah, I failed because I, I, I instead of going toward the flamethrower, I, I tried upgrading my physical projectile damage. But if you just go and research all of these things, you are not keeping up with the evolution. And you will not be able to just shoot the behemoths at all. Even the big biters, you're, you don't even like deal much damage to the big biters. So like the damage upgrades, they don't matter at all. And I decided to just, like, restart. I don't know. Maybe I could have saved the first run. I just decided to restart. But, like, going without the flamethrower against the behemoths would probably be, like, I don't know. I don't know how I would deal with that. Technically, it's not impossible. But... How many hours did I put in before it restarted? It's just, it was just two days. Uh, so, like, tw 10 hours, maybe something 15 hours 
I can I can see over here. This is the attempt number one. It's eleven. It's twelve hours. There you go. This is my first run. How many am I up on this? Uh, on this one, I am now a hundred sixty-four hours. This is day twenty-two, right? Dory, hello. And uh, so I have researched the uh, the yellow science, but I did not start making it yet. Um, and I guess I will not be making it for a while. I'm I'm going to do the new base, starting with the concrete floor. Dedication to this challenge. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Armiladov. Um. I mean, it's a fun challenge. I like it's not it's not the dedication. I, I actually like this one, even although sometimes it feels like I'm doing things for a little too long. Like, I don't know, but like I, I don't have to, for example, spend two hours on this on this letter. Right. Or. Uh, so like th th that's not the problem. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I'm fighting the biters too much. Or like in the very beginning before the bots, maybe I was uh, hand building too much. But I, I don't know. I, I actually did not feel the um, the problem. I like this run because, like I was saying before, it uh, it makes you think about things more. Before instead of like in the normal game, you just have all the technologies and you don't even know what to do with them. Every everything here is like is like a choice, and you need to. Um, like think about things how do you do things without the logistic bots for example right so we have this uh, system over here that is requesting the things into this chest without using any requester chests because of that right that's something that you don't do on the normal run so like I'm learning things about the game here I'm learning how the UPS is being affected by me placing the landmines for example and other things. Go so fast normally, yeah. Even even if you try doing the marathon settings, it is still going too fast, I think. So like, I mean, maybe a thousand multiplier is a little bit too much. Uh, but I think I, I actually think it's not. Uh, you just. I'm using the default settings for the ores and for the biters, right? But I think like the comfortable gameplay is actually like a thousand. Well, I guess a thousand multi multiplier makes you like build a little bit, maybe like a hundred multiplier and like lower the biters a little bit. Is um is a good thing. That I can actually like. Why don't you expand in one direction for bigger patches? Uh, yeah, I should have, but... It's because uh, it was just like... I think I think this area, like, like this size, was uh, just before I had the landmines. So, like, killing the, uh, the bigger nests with the, the, with the turrets was not... Like, something that I could do, really. Like, killing this with just turrets, I don't think I would be able to. And right now, I am not even expanding that much. I am just uh, clearing the biters out of my pollution cloud, mostly. But my pl but my pl like the plan is, yes, I want to go in one direction for bigger patches. Maybe, I don't know, is it a good idea if I just uh, go somewhere like over here and start a new base over there where I have the bigger patches? 
but I was also like looking at them and um, let's say this is the uranium we can like count on the uranium this is 2.5 million right but if I take a look at this uranium this is 6 million so this is only three times bigger which is I don't know I mean yeah I, but I don't know if it matters this much this difference But anyway, my new base is going to be over here, and then I'm going to expand even further down, I guess. As you are needing so much, bigger patches means you won't have to expand that fast. I have to expand the fast anyway, and the reason is the not the... Not the rich patches. They are, they are not becoming bigger, by the way. They're only becoming richer. And the amount that I need is not the richness, it's the amount of miners that I need. So, for example, if I want to do the purple science, right? If I want to do the same amount that I'm doing right now, which is uh, one red belt, which is like 30 items a second, right? Which uh, this means that I will need to have... Um, I calculated this before, but like... You just take a look at this uh, raw material, basically. This makes three production science packs, though, so you also divide it by three, I guess. You want about, like, ten iron plates, which is basically ten belts of iron ore. And you also want to have uh, eight belts of steel, which is also eight by four, by, by five, makes uh, another forty belts of iron ore, right? So it's 50 belts of iron ore that I want to mine here. If I want to do the same amount of science that I'm doing right now of my red and green. And uh, blue I'm doing a little less. Or maybe I'm not. No, I think I'm just missing. Yeah, I, I'm doing a little less of the of the blue right now. So yeah, it's... it's um... It's a lot here. 20 belts of copper, 50 belts of uh, iron. Just for this thing. Do -do 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 -do. I have 2500 hours in Factor, but never thought about trying a challenge like this. Uh, I'm so tempted. Well, it depends on, like, if you think that like i guess if you're an experienced player it depends on how do you see like hand building how much is annoying is that but i mean when did we get to the bots i think in, 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 like in about 100 hours so like uh this will be built by hand you know this was built by hand this all of this was built by hand this over here i think Maybe more than that. I think all of this was built by hand. All of this was built by hand. Uh, so, yeah. Hand building and then fighting the biters are the two things that, like, you might want to either lower the, uh, the thing or lower the biters or lower the multiplier. But it's a cool challenge, yeah. That's the first challenge, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, like, there are other people who have done the uh, multipliers like that. Some of them also use them. You can also, like, use a mod. I have seen other people use mods. For example, there is a mod that makes you build things automatically when you just, just hover on them, right? Just to, like, build manually, but faster if you, if you feel like it. I'm using all vanilla, though. All default settings except for the multiplier. One thing that I I think I would change about this run is uh, changing the ore patches, but not like the amount of them, but uh, um, like making the real world settings of the uh, of the mines, right? Uh, because uh, 
like I want to surround them with my with my stations and they are so close to each other that le it leaves uh, not that much space for my trains around uh, if I wanted to like encapsulate them in a block for example and an and or patch um, also one of the uh, challenges by the way if you are going to do that is the expansions I have an expansions on because I'm using all the default settings right the expansions need to be dealt with that's uh, like one of the hard parts too It's like having faster boss, but you need to do it actively. Well, that's what hand building is. Hand building is the faster bots, but you need to do it actively. You you are hand building things faster. For sure. With the mother's places where you have the mouse yeah but i mean the yeah, idea it is still similar expansion is a need to be on otherwise you clear it too far out and suddenly you are playing creative oh yeah but you can i mean if you don't want to tweak any other settings, like I like I am doing the pure run here, then sure go for it. I'm just saying that there are things to make it easier. If you are not willing to suffer as much as I am. Which I'm not by the way, I'm having fun. Alright. I was um I was going to fix this. Okay, we have uh, four belts of input, two parts of input. We have uh, two sides of output. I think this is just missing the power now, and I can connect it over here. Floor. Let's go. I would probably not spend time on making builds with letters. Yeah, I think... So, the reason for this is so that... You see, like, how I'm zooming out here and the tags are not visible, right? The tags are not no longer visible, but the this the fact that this spell's floor is still visible, you know? Yeah. Um, I think if I were... Like, the other idea that I had instead of spelling with the letters, just have, uh, like, I just want the copper smeltery and the iron smeltery to be looking differently from the space view. So, like, you can just do a different pattern, for example. I want it to be, like, uh, I want to be able to tell what the thing is. I, I want to, like, find it quickly, you know? That's the main idea here. And the tags, they are not really helping much. The trains, top names, they are not really helping much. But it takes a lot of time to do that. So yeah. And maybe a, just, a, just a little different patterns. Uh, but do it like a normally kind of... So like... Like, this is a lot easier to, to do, right? So all, so this thing over here, all of these assemblers, is the same as just this one letter. Right? But, like, how is that different from all the other assemblers? That I'm going to see on my map. It's not different. Hmm. 
Also, technically, you just need to do every letter like once. For example, over here, even if this is going to be the assembler, that is not going to require the um, the fluid. I can still use the same blueprint for the same letter, actually, right? So I just need to make one blueprint of every single letter, which is consuming two belts plus a pipe, I think. And this should be enough for, like, most of the things. Also, instead of having five letters, you can just do one letter, I guess. So, like, iron is I, copper is C. That's another thing, just to make it easier. Maybe. Um... Okay, everything is connected, right? Everything is connected. The input. This is the two inputs. I have an input, which is a belt of iron ore. And I have an input, which is a belt of stone. I actually need two belts of stone. Do I not? This is the iron ore. And this is two belts of stone. Yeah, yeah. Two belts of stone into one belt of brick. One belt of iron ore. And then we need the water also. Uh, and this water also needs to be connected to the other parts. Uh, and then the question is, do I pipe the water or do I bring it but by train? And the answer is obviously by train. Okay. Uh, and this is the output. Right? So we are going to do... A train. Um... I'm going to put the concrete on the train too, right? Because like... If I'm going to build something far away with concrete. I don't have a station for... All the things here. But this is the iron ore unloading station. This is the iron ore unloading. I only need uh, one part here, and I don't, and I only need one belt. So like this is going to be enough. <clears throat> and then. I'm going to have the uh, two belts. The two belts. Stone, this will be called stone. Uh, then we also need to power my trains. I'm going to have the fuel train. The fuel train is going to be down here. Wait, how did it work here? Oh, I had a bigger distance, I see. Makes sense. Uh, 
Okay, this is the train fuel. So I'm powering these trains. And then I have the loading station. Going to change it up a little bit, but and it's not going to be the copper plate, obviously. Uh, and this is not going to be the iron ore unload, this is the stone unload. Okay, good enough. Just doing one belt. And that is it. Now I just need to connect the um, things to the rails, right? Right. Okay. Maybe it's the time to make the bots build this thing. My rocket fuel is almost researched. I'm going to upgrade to the rocket fuel to my trains to... I guess. Is it, uh, does it make sense to use the rocket fuel for the furnaces? It does not, right? Wait, am I even using the burnable fuel anywhere? The furnaces are electric, right? There is no burnable fuel used anywhere at this point, right? So I want to go over there. I don't have a radar around this place. But it should fit there. Pretty sure. There you go. Red tree is in the way. Um, yeah, over here I'm using this fuel just for the furnaces, but the furnaces could be electric. I guess if I want to go back to boilers... There you go. Let's figure out what's the next research that I want to make. Uh, Energy Shield Mark 2 is what I want. Yes. This is 200,000. And I have researched 55%. I need 100,000 uh, of military science. Do I have that? I have about 2,000 in each chest. 24... 50,000 is what I have, I think. Is military science still going here? Alright, I guess I can like continue and see how much uh, am I going to be left with. A 
All right, I want to mark for the construction all the trees in this area, I think. Right? Mark for the construction. Trees and rocks only. Okay. Can I have a deconstruction planner just for the cliffs, by the way? Somehow? There is a cliff, yeah. Okay. So cliffs, blast rigs, and rocks only. But I cannot do both this check mark and the cliff. If I want trees and rocks only without this checkbox, I will need to like have all of these selected, right? And then in addition to that, I could do the thing. Okay. Um, iron, not the iron, floor. Let's do the floor. Okay, good. Now the question is, how do I connect the rails to the uh, things here? And I think I wanted to, like, just connect it to these things, right? Is that what I wanted to do? Mikolai, thank you for the follow. Okay, I guess something like this will work. I also want to have the, the buffer space here, obviously, right? Those are my inputs. Um, yeah. Would you like that, actually? Cliff is in the way. Alright. He's no longer in the way. Uh, did I have a rail with the distancing? Did have a rail with just the distance between the um, things? Let's do that.
on the buffer of three. So this makes this a little bit longer. Wait, what? Okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Dun, dun. That's it. Similarly, uh, this thing. Don't make this thing go over there. the solid fuel here for myself This is it. I think this is it. I need to do a copy paste here. Can I have a copy paste planner with a filter? I cannot, right? Can I? There's still some things that are... Oh, wait, hold on. I did not make a train for the water. Uh, I can edit later. It's fine. Let's just do this. This gives me all the items that I need to bring here. So let me go for a little bit of fuel for myself. And all the items that I need to build. out of fuel
How hard is it for me to just switch this to the rocket fuel, by the way? I'm gonna do it later. Maybe in the new base instead. Okay, so I'm going to bring on all the stuff that I need. Let's start building the uh, train here with all the stuff. Um, Two point eight thousand conveyor belts. And then uh, 1,000 rails. This is 4,000, okay. Maybe I don't need that much. Um, next is um, 438 pipes. I'll do six stacks. Um, 400 fast inserters. Two hundred power poles. Two hundred long inserters. Stack inserters. Some of these things. Uh, assemblers, hundred fifty one. Let's give it two hundred. Underground. 105, 200. Steel furnace, uh, electric furnaces, 80. They are not in this base. Steel chests. Underground, 76. This will be enough. Landmine. There are still some landmines there? Okay. Some train signals. Big power poles, uh, splitters, not that much, one stack is enough. Train stops. Okay. I think that's it, the um, electric furnaces and the efficiency modules. I'm going to... Uh, I also forgot about some of the efficiency modules in uh, in some things there. Like the um, concrete assemblers, I will put the efficiency modules in them too. Not only in the furnaces. But yeah. Uh, I guess I don't need this anymore. I'll keep it on me. Let's go for the furnaces and uh, the robot ports. Robots. <clears throat> this guy should have the the repair packs. What are these guys missing? The speed modules. Oh, but I have filled this belt with the bots now. Nice. Uh, 
electric furnaces are over here. I just needed like a hundred, I think, right? Okay, and then I want the bots. This many, maybe. 300. And like 20 roboports. 30 roboports should be enough. Okay, I'm ready to build this thing. <clears throat> like I said, there's the water that is missing. I have water over here that I can take from. <laughs> or... Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Even a low train is, is more fun. Or maybe I do the train. I know. Uh, I I have did I do I have the water trains on this run so far or did I do I not? I do. There you go. We already have the water trains. Privet Kuvi, Privet Jerem. How you doing? Look, look at my new creation. That's uh, it's the floor for the new base. It's going to make the floor. Sixty nine percent energy shield. Nice, but am I still having the uh, the uh, the packs? Looks like I still have. I used like about a half, maybe. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will be able to research it. There's another, another what? No more Death World? Death World was finished, the Death World Marathon was finished. This is uh, not a Death World, but it is harder than that Death World that we played. It's a new challenge now, harder, holy, yeah. It is. Ah, shit, the... Um, stupid... Uh, storage chests are also needed. Okay, I will make this train go to me. Full cargo inventory. No, yeah, it is full, okay. And some storage chests here. I think I would have panicked and cried at the death world. Change the color. Alright. You cho you need to choose the color though that I am going to convert myself into here. We, ha we can do any RGB, right? Most hands like color. So green. Okay, um, we do a couple of robot ports here, and I do a couple of bots here, and I connect this to the power. And yeah, the storage chests uh, are needed for sure. Are they using power when they are just hovering? They are. Stupid bots. Using power all the time. Just forgot my uh, storage chests. Okay. Oh, that's not looking good. All right, let me just unload this train really quickly and then I fix that.
Okay, bye. Need the landmines to go there. I also don't have landmines on me. Watching this has given me the factory of sweats again. What's there to sweat about? That's just. You know what I think? Like, it would be cool if the Roboports could also have the combat drones inside. You can do combat drones. What if they would send the combat drones into the worms from the Roboports if I have them inside? Is there a mod for that? Got a split, thanks for streaming, bye. Bye. Would make the mod? I'm not sure if I can make that mod. If their if their API allows for that. Or not. Like some things in the game are hard coded. Expansion will be interesting. Yeah, it will. There's a lot of nice things but that we already know are going to happen. Alright, how are we doing on building this thing? They say that they're missing materials still, or did they not update? I should go there and place the the other roboports maybe. So that they work on all the things at the same time. some raiders around too oh I did not even uh, land for the roboports yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to manually and be there I think Science is waiting for the blue now, actually. Really just waiting for the blue. Dun, 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 dun.
Oh, the efficiency modules is what they're missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's okay. It's okay. Um, Alright, so I need to connect some more of these things. I'll just place them manually here, actually. All right, there you go. <clears throat> I'm going to be slow because the power is not connected everywhere, it seems. So... Give me some of these power pulls. I'll just connect the power a little faster this way. Oh, I only took seven. I only took seven. Oh, and I never connected power to this stuff, by the way. I never connected power over here. Lopi Gorley. Oh, hi, Oh, hi.
This is what space in the in between is good for for the power poles. Nice. <laughs> Just the efficiency modules should be missing here. All right, uh, this is not space Dr. Giants, it's space that is called. Stone unload. This is iron ore unload, which can have a limit of I can make up to anything up to three. I'll make it one for now. They build that station too. They did not. All right. Wait. The construction bots left this Roboport network again. Where they are? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're all in this Roboport. Okay. Because this is not connected now. Okay, amazing. So yeah, for that reason I need to connect the power first. The other one is not necessary. <clears throat> All right. Now this should work. Okay, we have um we have more time. And I think Do the bots have cliff explosives? Uh yeah, actually they don't. Because that was not in my copy thing. Let's call for a train with cliff explosives. I mean, I have 20 cliff explosives on me. I can make this go here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is uh, the water that needs to be connected. Um... Maybe I should uh, connect everything here myself. Can I make this go out? I can. Nice. Just going to make this go out. Uh, 
Like that. This is my water. Um, is all the water connected here together? I have no idea. That will make it go... Like this to be connected. And then I just go down somewhere like that. Uh, don't copy the train stations because I changed them a little bit. Robo port is in the way. This robo port over here. Cliff explosive is in one of these ch chests. There you go. I can also call for the mall. The mall has the offshore pump. Let's go for the offshore pump. Wait, hold on. Have a little bit of water just directly here. Don't even need to go anywhere. It's nice. <coughs> Still the blue signs. The blue science. Blue science has arrived though. Oh no, it's not the blue science, just the fact that uh, I have too many labs for this kind of research. Alright, offshore pump in one of them. Pump. I think we just wait for this thing to be built. And the floor should start working. Uh, I can in the meantime connect the, uh, the closer like iron patch maybe. Uh, I should also go for the efficiency modules. Uh, Let's, uh, let's take these two iron patches, maybe. With the efficiency modules, they're not going to even, like, pollute that much, right? So I don't need to move my wall. These guys are okay. I think. So let's make this train go back. The mining outpost. Actually, I don't even need to. Right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, give me the rails. Some signals. Mm. 
All right. I want to go there. Is water connection in the robot network? Uh. Not the super important detail. I can build this manually later. And probably fix a, thi a thing or two there. Electricity. This one is a ghost. Okay, now the question is how exactly am I doing this station here? Let's bring the station in first, maybe. I mean, maybe I just do it on... Um... In the next section then. On the side of a section like this. Yeah, sure. Let's just um, get here. So this is the iron ore loading station. This one. Um, now will I be able to do more than four belts here?
Do it like this or like that. Just like this, actually. Are they not even connected here with the wire? Wait, what? I thought I set up this rail. Everything is set up, but not the iron train. Okay, I'll just do this here. I'll do it on the other side too, by the way. For the second patch. I'll have uh, separate stations here to make it easier for me. Like the circle? Yeah. Circle is nice, it's it's easy to build to has a small downside though, but mostly it's fine. Uh the downside is that if you make an intersection going all the different directions if one tr because I'm doing the your own the train is only allowed to do counterclockwise rotation on on this circle that I've done so if there was one train that wants to go up and another uh, like from left to up and then from right to down another train they will have to wait for each other because one of them is going to do 90 degree and another one is going to do uh, 270 Um, I actually cannot even do a two here. Do a one. It's okay. Makes things easier to connect. Yes, it does. I don't think I will even, um, like, when you have, even, even when I, even when you have the Spider-Tron, even then, it's not like super, like, you, you want to have a Spider-Tron and also a couple of the space science uh, bot speed upgrade to, like, make these things build, like, super easy. Until then. Oh look, the iron train is already here. Or the iron. <laughs> I'm not ready to have the iron, hello? Okay, I want to...
have a train stop. Do I have a train stop for the mining outpost? I do not. I will have to copy paste it from one of the other locations like this one. So this is the train that is going to build my stuff here. I think I'll just do it like this here. This set to zero, so I will change this station later. I want to make... Ah, shit, the inserters... Stack filter inserters are in the mall train. Mall train, come to me. I want to do this, and I want to feel that... This train also is going to come. This is the train that... Is going to make all of this uh, build. All of this is... I should have the one with the efficiency 2 modules now, by the way. Because I have the efficiency 2s, right? Nah, I can do that later. Some of these don't have the efficiency at all. I do that. I'll be able to do the upgrade plan. Right. One, two, three. Some landmines here in the area. Do 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 175. This guy is here for the stack filter inserters. And then I need the provider chests, that's it. The train is coming. My UPS is suffering. This is not suffering too much. It's okay. Here's this other builder train. This one is missing the uh, passive providers. Right? I don't even need any other circuitry here. Okay. Okay, this is all going to be built. It is uh, rotated the wrong direction. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, and one of these is just 30. We'll be combining those. One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do.
Okay, done. Um, what is this over here? This should be deleted. Okay. Raider. Uh, this next train station also needs to be done. Make an easy four belts. Like this. What's missing in the balancer? No, they are not. And this one? It's like really hard to see them, I think. Because of this stumps of the trees. I think this is all, but because I'm building two of them, I might not have enough in one train. I'm doing 275. How much am I doing this? 300? No, I will have enough. What about the belts, though? I need 1,000 belts. How much am I doing here? I'm doing more than 1,000. I'm doing 2,000. This will be enough. No, okay. I guess this will work. Um, so I, I don't need to stay here any longer. Let's um, make the trains go away. And I can uh, make this to also have a limit of one, sure. I mean, the only thing is that, like, this signal is not done. Um, without the signal, I can do the limit of two. Nah, I will not do that. Uh, I'll prepare for the signal in the future, maybe. What are these guys missing? Nothing. They're just building still. I mean, the modules are missing. Missing power poles. Is power connected to the left or station? I think it is. It's connected through here, but I can, I guess... This big power pole... Connect this here. Okay. Do 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 do. No path to stone unload.
Is this the only stone station that I have? I might need to connect. No, that's probably not the only one. Stone. So, no, I have five of them. No path, no path. Look at the train station. Which one? This one? Which one? This one, this one, that one. That one. Which one? Uh, this is not connected though. Hold on. This was never connected. Well Apparently Our connection on the left station. Oh the train station this one Okay, there you go. Um, I think I will just build the stone here too. Similarly, I want this train station. Ah, shit. On this train station. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see what am I doing here exactly. is going to be the stone for concrete I need two belts of stone maybe this will be giving me these two belts Okay, I have this train station and then I have the loading train station for the stone. I don't have the stone prepared here. Um Whoops. Alright, it's fine. This uh, is not here forever. You know?
Okay, this uh, is going to come and build uh, everything else here. Uh, when this is done. So at some point. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is the stone. And is this connected to power? Well, now it is. I don't know what this power pole is, but let's connect it to. Okay. This is going to work. Um, all I need is to wait. This looks like it is fully built, except for that stuff. Is this out of uh, reach of the roboports? Oh, this roboport is like not in the same network. I see. That's why. If I do it like this, then they will finish it. Uh, also, this is not connected to the power. So let's do this. Uh, also... So that is it, right? Uh, they are missing the power poles for some reason. I guess I didn't bring enough. Okay. The, the stone is already coming here, by the way. And has already built and smelted into the brick. I'm not ready. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I want to make them the productivity too. Uh, not the productivity. The efficiency. Uh, Ictacentrosi. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the modules and also over here, I'll take more power poles, I guess, if I'm missing them. We go there, and then the next train stop is going to be the modules. Modules are made over here. These are the chests. Energy shield... In the meantime, it is now 90%. Am I still going to in the research? Oh, I am out of the military science. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. 10% is just uh, 20,000, so just one train though, right? And because I have productivity also, maybe I can do this train? If I'm going to stop at 99%, I came here for a couple power poles. Uh, and I came here for the modules, the efficiency modules. many modules do I want? 
Yes. Should place the efficiency modules on these guys too. Everything should have the efficiency module. By the way, it says max consumption 30 kilowatts minus 80% is the limit. I thought the minimum consumption is the... Uh... Oh, minimum energy consumption is 20%. Energy consumption minus 40. So why would I use the energy efficiency module 3 then? What's the reason to use efficiency module 3? Because you can combine them with other efficiency... with other modules? Or is efficiency module 3 takes it down lower? The minimum energy consumption is 20% still. It just uh, subtracts 50% instead. Efficiency 3 with miners. So yeah, it's like 2 efficiency and 1 speed then, right? Minimum energy consumption is 20%. When you combine it with uh, the speed, does it mean that, like, it goes, uh, like... Like, when is the minimum checked? Like, after combined speed? Because speed increases energy consumption, right? Or is it only the... Is it only two efficiency modules that can be put in the machine? Probably not, right? Probably after. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. They have productivity once. And you know what? That's bad. Why do they have productivity once if they should have productivity twos? Cannot insert. Inventory is full. Oh, okay. I thought I cannot upgrade them, but I can. Productivity on the blue chip is good. Uh, productivity on on the sciences too, since I'm doing the sciences. Right now, I think I only have productivity tools on the labs. Since I am here, maybe that's what I should do really quickly. This has productivity 2. This has productivity 1. Yeah, the blue science is like kind of an issue. So let's uh, put the productivity there. The red chips.
I should have a dedicated module footbar. Productivity, efficiency. Is this a good thing to do? To do the copper efficiency? Or should it also be productivity? I think it's actually should... How do I change it though? Like now I cannot change it. Right, with bots only. Only upgrade can be done by hand easily. The reason I use the... Uh, yeah, is because I didn't have that much modules before. Should I use that just the productivity everywhere? Just use less copper. Uh... Power doing at night or still blackouts? I don't think I have seen a blackout in a while. Because I am running around my machines, right? We would see that the power issues are there. I just I just uh, placed a little more of the accumulators. I was missing not that much, I guess. You can take a look at the power. Like consumption, it does not go to zero here, right? So there is like this this is the accumulator consumption. We can see the accumulator consumption. Can I see where like a graph of the accumulator charge? <laughs> There's a like how do I know from this graph? The only way to know is like that I'm using zero energy, right? But even then it's not true. I mean, yeah, it is like there is a little bit of the steam engine, so it would not be like complete zero. But like, I would like to see the accumulator charge graph, I think. Okay. Production. Advanced circuits. Did I increase this or did I not? Do -do -do.
Productivity 2 gives me plus 14% productivity. No, it's pollution plus 14%. Productivity plus 12%. Power consumption plus 120% from from 80% though. I'll see if that's an issue. Right, I basically used all my modules here. Whatever other things. I'll upgrade later. Ninety-seven percent. Do you think it stopped? No, it didn't stop yet. Okay. Maybe I will finish this research. Um. Efficiency 1. I don't have efficiency 1s here. But I want to do the same for the... Uh, for this, I guess. Maybe productivity on the green chip. Uh, is another good idea. Is I'm like... Continuing to use it here too. Productivity 1. There you go. Right, efficiency 2. So do that. Yeah, okay, whatever. Do this text on me. Power poles. Efficiency modules. Floor. Have we made the concrete? Okay, we're already making the concrete, by the way. Uh, by the way, we're already making the concrete. I think one of them is missing... What? No, the water is everywhere. Why is this not working? Because of no steel. Did I miscalculate the amount of steel that I need here? No, no way I did, right? Is it all because I miscalculated? Because steel furnaces are not that much. I, don't, I only have uh, eight of them. I think I miscalculated, right? Ah, shit. I don't want to redo this. I think it's... I, I can do more there relatively easily. A deficiency module too.
Or maybe it's the power poles that we're missing. Uh, wait, the power poles are no longer missing, actually. There is a little bit of them. That are missed, but mostly it's okay. Okay, let me calculate again. Uh, refined concrete needs one steel plate. I'm making. I want to make a full belt, so I want to make thirty refined concrete a second, which means that I need three steel a second, right? Three steel a second is fifteen iron a second, which is a uh, half a belt. Which is half a belt. Do a full belt of iron. I need 48 furnaces. So I need 24 furnaces. But I need 48. Okay. I did miscalculate. I need 6 times more than what I have here. Now the question is... <laughs> do we redesign it from scratch? Or what do I do here? The steel steel all right um i will not be able to put um like a lot more here i guess we just do like an underline for this floor so i need uh i need 40 more furnaces just do a small underline all right it's fine So now I need to go up here. I need to fix this a little bit. I do it like this. It's going to be a floor with a little bit of uh, of that thing there. It's fine. All right, and now for the actual part of using that concrete. Right? Let's see how much faster am I going to be moving here. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster, okay. 
So now I just want to do this. Do we concrete the uh, tracks too? Do we concrete everything? Everything is concreted? How does it work exactly? Or do I not concrete everything? Or do I just concrete the letters here? My build is going to be concrete. Do you need any concrete reason to concrete the world? <laughs> um, I'm not missing these furnaces, am I? Uh, no, but I am. So I need more furnaces. For that steel, let's go here. For them. Dun, do, do, dun, do, dun, do, dun. Is this fully built? Um, looks like it is fully built, so we're just waiting for the five minutes of inactivity here. Um, I can make the efficiency modules for them, and I should. I don't want to be polluting too much there. Uh, what am I waiting for right now? Oh, this signal is like the... the, the that signal, yes. By the way, speaking about this signal, because this is the concrete, I should not be... This is not the copper station. This is not the copper station. This is the... Uh, Concrete station. How does con uh, con concrete is a hundred? Hundred is just like the plates, right? Or is plates two hundred? Okay, this will work. Do I have my modules? I, I do have. Let's uh, put the efficiency here. Pretty sure I can make this train leave. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going for the electric furnaces first. <clears throat> Energy shield mark 2, 98%. Am I out of the military science now? Let's check. I am. Amazing. 98%. How much more do I have? I have this much. Let's try sending this train. <laughs> it's going to stop at 99% now. Handcraft military science. It's basically handcrafting here. This is uh, it's still working on the old uh, like build with the yellow belts and everything. Basically the same as handcrafting. Okay. 
Well, that concrete actually goes first for the new design area. A new and better design area. That's bigger. That's too small. Uh, this should be, I guess. The provider chests. For that to work. Came here for the modules. Oh, wait. There's even no reason for me to put two efficiency modules here at all, right? But when I'm doing the control... Can I upgrade... Can I have an upgrade planner that only replaces one of the modules? I'm just basically wasting a module here. Which is not a big deal, but like... That's the easiest way to do it. So actually efficiency one to three of those is already like there is no reason for me to use efficiency two on the miners, right? Because three efficiency one is uh, already at the limit. So this is uh, more expensive if I was to use this on the miners. Efficiency two is only making sense on the assemblers then, right? Like, I don't want the speed yet. Pollution. So this is how much I have... I, I, so, like, these are the only miners that I have uh, efficiency modules right now. And this is... And I can see it on my graph, actually. Is this the only iron miners that are working right now? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Why are these stopped? Okay, now it makes sense why this is stopped. This mining outpost train is going to come already. Yeah, good. This train is... Oh, I'm missing a signal. I didn't place the signal here. Makes sense, okay. That is the train that is coming here. So then, efficiency 1 should be good enough, right? 
And efficiency one is a thing that I'm just not outputting here. And which I should. Can someone give me... Do I have maybe in the spawn train... I have the green chip and then the wire. I need copper. No, this train has it. Okay. Good. I need to upgrade my station here to include the efficiency modules, which is not that hard. I need a stack filter inserter. I'm filtering the... Um, efficiency module. And I need to do it like that. Wait, what, are, what is this wire doing again? Oh, it disables this thing. Okay, I, so actually, like, for this, I don't even need the wire. Because, like, one stack is okay. Whatever. There you go. So this is the new station. I don't even need the wire. Wire is free if you copy-paste. Yeah, true. True, true, true. So like the the thing is enabled condition like I'm I'm setting how many do I want in this chest so that it's not the full stack but for this thing it's like it doesn't matter let's do all 50 right I mean sure let's do 10 whatever I will waste a little less because of that energy shield is re is actually research actually researched okay um do you have a robot port? I do. More providers. Do -do 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 Energy shield mark to low density structure. Oh wait, I have not been making them at all. But like I don't need that much. I don't need that much, so it's fine. How many energy shields mark two do I want? What is my setup? I think I will replace some of them with the more batteries. Basically. Right? I can just like, for example, just do two energy shields. How much better is the energy shield mark two compared to the tier one? Uh, 150, 12 a second. 150, 12 a second. And this is uh, 50, 12 a second. So recharge, oh, wait, hold on. The recharge speed, speed is the same. If I'm constantly being attacked, then Multiple energy shield is still required. It just gives me the bigger buffer. Why is the recharge speed speed is still that low and it's not being upgraded? Okay. I mean that's already that's okay, I think. All right, I think that's okay. <laughs> this train is out of fuel. I'm not powering my spawn train. Also, it's uh, 30 kilojoules per hit point. It's more or it's less. Is that what you're saying? Um, it's more because the consumption is uh, 30, 350 kilowatts there. And over here it is... Oh, wait, it's energy per hit point. That's a different thing. Energy per hit point, 20. Recharge speed, 12 hit points.
does it actually mean? <clears throat> it will draw 30% more charge. Yeah, but I will make my... my it only draws charge when I'm being attacked, right? So, hopefully it doesn't happen that often. If I replace two of the energy shields uh, with um, the energy shield mark 2, that's already giving me more health points, right? For the um, bad scenarios, and I just make my battery bigger. I don't know if that research was, like, very worth it. Maybe um, that is not a very useful thing to do there. But, yeah. Oh, I don't have any red chips here. No red chips anymore. Alright, I need a low density. And a little bit of low density. Um, which is... Uh, what? Steel, plastic and copper, right? Yeah. Do I not have steel? I think I do. But this buffer is very small. I thought I would be able to place more <laughs> with my with whatever I had in my inventory. Okay, well, at least I con conquered it a little bit. It's still not smooth. There still has a brick pattern. I thought it would be like completely smooth. I never placed the the concrete before. Okay, I need more. Energy shields. I need uh, 20 of these. More steel. Let's go for more steel. 
to the steel smeltery. Let's pave the world with bots. <laughs> I mean... I mean, um... If I just craft a uh, hundred thousand bots, that's still not enough, right? How many? So so that they like they place all of it at the same time. How many bots do I need for that? Change color. Change color into what? Do 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 do. Steel. Okay. Um. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. So that I have uh four of these. Mhm. Mm Come back to spawn. My favorite color. Let's see. What is my favorite color? I mean, it depends on the mood, but uh, I guess the most general is the uh, is the sky blue color, so something like this. Why does it look different? And I usually use this one, maybe. Yeah, like the color of the solar panel here. Yeah, that looks good. One, two, three. And four. Okay, what else do I need? And what else do I need? Uh, more batteries. More batteries. I probably have them in one of these chests. Maybe at spawn. Oh, this is the low density structure, by the way. I, I actually prepared for this. How did I make that from scratch? I prepared for this so that I have the buffer here for the manual crafting of these things. All right, take this armor. Personal battery, I have 14 of them. This is tier one. We have tier two here. Doesn't look like it. Do I have them near the solar panels, maybe? No, I don't. I have the modular armor there. I have them near my landmines. This is normal batteries. What is this? What is that? Alright. Yes, I just go somewhere. Uh, near the batteries, right? Personal battery mark 2. Oh, this is using the low density too. Okay, it makes sense why well, I have it then. Alright, let's have more low density. To the landmine. 
uh, let's take a look at the research. So what is the next thing? What's the next thing? Mining productivity too for, for half a million science. Electric energy distribution too. Purple science. What is the thing that I need? Personal roboport? Oh, maybe I replaced the personal with the personal roboport. Nah. I don't want. Like I, I will need to switch between the layouts then. Ah yes. Yeah, I mean sure. Let's do the personal roboport. And the belt immunity equipment too, while I'm at it. What else? The gate. Let's do a gate. Insert capacity bonus is good. Other than that, what like mining productivity, I guess. I can do the logistic bots. Logistic bots are 150 just for refilling myself. Maybe extra inventory because of the trash slots. Mining productivity. And then we can increase the board speed, some other things. I don't know. None of these is very important. I can just uh, save also. Maybe it's just like I should be saving here instead. But like like for when i have the the yellow signs to continue doing the yellow <laughs> now nah, whatever let's do the work So I should have a, an armor that is just for fighting and I should have an armor that is for building. Uh, and like for, for normal movement around, I guess. So this will give me four more batteries for four more things. Should I have a, just like a separate armor completely? Or separate layout. Uh, I think it's uh, the separate layout. So for the building then, I replace the energy shields. I keep the batteries, right? But I replace the energy shields with a personal roboport and a night vision. And one of these solar panels is going to be the belt immunity equipment. It's one by one, right? Yeah. I have more solar panels with you? I have. I have to. I am always carrying 20 solar panels with me. I'm doing this sometimes. Just one stack extra is what I'm doing. Not much more.
Here's some wire. Okay, things are being crafted. Um, things are being researched. The concrete is being placed. It's not really being crafted. Because the furnaces are still on me. Let's uh, bring them the furnaces. I didn't get lab re speed research because I am uh, researching it slowly, not because of the lab speed, but because of... Well, right now I guess it's because of the belt speed, but uh, my labs here, they can only do one red belt of science. Uh, half of a belt on this side, half of a belt on this side, so like... 30 science packs a second of every science pack, which gives me 2,000 science per minute, 1,800 science per minute. Um, so yeah. With a lab research speed, I would, uh, like, I'm not even producing this much all the time anyway, so like, only right now this could be done faster because I have like things in my buffer, right? But it doesn't matter much. Because uh, mostly we are blocked by the production speed, not the consumption speed of the science packs. And then also have the book because of the belt speeds. I guess. And also because the research in lab research speed is uh, taking an hour just to research this. Plus 20%, plus 30%. So this would be plus 50%. And this is almost plus a hundred percent twice as fast if I do the just this. I don't know, like it's it doesn't like it means that I will would need to like like I could pull more than one belt out of this chest. Yeah, I could. It's whatever. I'm being attacked.
Let's see, this is energy shield mark two. Oh yeah. With just just two of them. No wait, hold on, no. It's, yeah, it's the same speed. Do 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 battery. And shield. Okay, this is the second armor. I'm going to hide it over here. This is my armor. Just giving me more solar panels. I mean, more battery life. Alright. Oh, let's try to go and attack. Maybe. This guy's uh act me. How was it connected to the power? This was destroyed. Should actually rebuild this while I'm waiting for um, the battery to charge. Where am I? I'll wait for this train. <laughs>
Okay. So where am I attacking? I guess that way. Actually, go back to the landmines. I'm going to ride my personal train. Okay. There we go. I should not really notice the difference. I guess. Because I'm not supposed to take damage. The only difference is the uh, the amount of batteries that I have now. So double hit points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The buffer is doubled, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, like it's good, but I like the double hit points on the shields. It's something that hopefully I should not even notice because like I like I'm supposed to be careful anyway when fighting. So like the difference is probably going to be there, but like I'm dying sometimes, right? So I should be dying less. But that's the fact that I'm dying is mostly just a skill issue, which uh, hopefully also improves over time. Drink of water. I need to get more water. All right.
Yes, it's less than 50 sometimes. Yes, but it is the landmines. I should be building the walls. That's what I should be doing. Building the flamethrower walls instead of doing landmines. Uh, like, we tested it already. It's not the base. Should like figure out where to place my wall and place a wall the flamethrower wall which will not have any landmines on it so that the ups is not being affected like right now it's 45 ups actually Okay, no, I actually see the difference. I actually see the difference. I am being attacked here at times. The fact that, like, I have more hit points, it actually matters. It's twice as much, yeah, than I had before. <clears throat> and that is good. So, like, over here, I need to figure out where this water is and, like, uh, place a wall somewhere around here. These walls need to be pushed away further, and they should not be the landmine walls. Uh, this is what I did down here, right? I should do this thing everywhere. I already have, like, the train, uh, for it. So I should just be clearing the biters and setting up these walls. That's, that, that's it. Also, when I zoom out like this, my UPS is 30 because of just the rendering, the pollution. Right, and now we're back to So like, do I place the wall here, or do I place the wall a little further away because there is more water, for example? That's also like a possibility. Um, pretty sure I'm not going to expand or down over there to the left. I should be expanding in one direction only at this point. Okay. 
I just need to figure out where to place the wall, and that's it. And actually, like, maybe these guys are actually going to run out. It's not going to happen very soon, though. I can place the efficiency modules here. That will lower this pollution cloud, and maybe then I can, like, just make the wall over here. I don't know. It's worth having train stations at the wall, and let's boss do the rest. That's exactly what I'm having. I I am bringing here. I need to. I will use the personal roboport to build this train station over here. So this is all I need to do, and then the bots they do the rest, and the train comes for with the resources automatically. I don't even bring it uh, myself. All I need is to just build the station. It's just that it takes time to like do the fighting and then figuring out the location for the wall outside of my pollution cloud where exactly it needs to be. Uh, bring even like 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 have have the stuff to build that station in my inventory. It all the small things they add up and they take time. And I want to do other things like making the concrete factory, right? Or maybe I should start doing the yellow signs now. Okay, my still still go my health still goes down sometimes, so yeah, probably would have died without the Mark II shield here. It's all about the infrastructure, do things for you. But it doesn't scale to this much. Like it's it's faster that I'm doing it myself. If I have the one giant roboport network, for example. And it would not help. Because that's what I had in my last run. And my base was... I'm not sure if it was smaller. But about the same size. And I'm going to grow bigger so like yes the infrastructure but the infrastructure is going to be requiring me to place the train station it's not going to be one big rubber port I need to be placing those this station and also the rails I I, I don't think I can make the, the bots build the rails on this scale.
Oh wait, I'm out of landmines actually. I mean, I still have a thousand. I'll keep kill that nest at the top there. <clears throat> now I need to figure out the location of the wall. I'll place a raider. Continue. Researching this area. I see the water here. If there is no connection there, then maybe this is the this the place that I want. these guys too I think this is not connected hold on hold on hold on I see I uh, I think I already see the shape I need to finish this then I have 1000 left and it should be enough 1000 landmines I'm one HP. Okay. Nothing happened. I'm alive. <clears throat> okay, these guys are leaving for the other nest. I will let them leave. Okay. So now I just need to figure out where this water goes. Maybe I will build the wall. Like over here, and then the wall like over here, and then the wall over here. Ah shit, hold on.
Ok. Very nice. Let's um, connect the power. Okay, we will research, maybe there is going to be a better spot to connect the wall. Hmm. Um, over here, I already see that I will probably do this. And then an, over there, somewhere. Okay, don't have any more landmines, so I'm going home anyway. This is 4,000 landmines. Rain is not coming here. No one is building this. Mm -hmm. I call for this train. Can I see how many guys we have killed? I see kills. 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 It's zero for all of them. Right? So does it mean that they did not try moving closer? This one has 12 kills though. But that may be because I tried to test it. This is where I was testing it. Anyone came close here? Or is the wall... The most useless thing ever, and all I need to do is to place the pipes. Like other people are doing. Preventing the... The expansions. <clears throat> Does the wall itself prevent the expansions? Do the worms attack the wall? If they... I think they do. It's okay. I'm just going to continue using this. Efficiency module 2 is missing for the steels. A 
It's missing the stone. Is this still not built? Oh, wait, hold on. This is still not built because I did not do the... Uh... Also, hold on. Why is this big power pole not built? Because I'm not unloading the big power poles too. Alright. I need to do this and I also need to do like that. Okay, these bots uh, have fixed the things. Uh, give me... Alright, let me... Provider. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One moment. Don't go yet. Give me the efficiency modules. Provider efficiency. How much do I need? 600. Just take it all. Okay, and then the same train so that we can continue building this. Maybe go there for five minutes. And the stone is going to start coming again. Okay. It is already starting to come, but... Okay. Science has stopped. Am I out of... Hold on, I'm out of plastic. I'm out of oil again, I think. Uh, what if there were some mine instead of actual wall? What do you mean some mine? Landmine? I've been doing landmines over here. It works. It works and I would use that because that is easier to you to do. But we're trying to fix the UPS issue. So we're doing something else. Because the mines, they... They stun biter so it would be beneficial if they would be stunned in a range of them. Be stunned. I'm not going to use the landmines, because this uh, makes the UPS bad. And I don't want to stun them, I want to kill them. And uh, this wall is not protecting from attacks, it's protecting from expansion, so it's not going to be very big attacks. On the wall. It's just sometimes, like, mostly, like, it's probably not even doing anything. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, like, why would the biters even come? Because this prevents the expansion on over here at, at, at anyway, right? It's just, like, sometimes they will, like, try living right next to the wall. And then probably it's not going to save me because the behemoth uh, worms are going to just reach the uh, flamethrowers and I'm not going to, to be able to do anything. But it's whatever. Walls also add to UPS of pathfinding. No, they... Oh, okay. I, once I see this issue, I will figure it out. I can deconstruct my walls later. <laughs> but I don't think it's worse than the... Um, no, no, no. They, they're definitely not worse. Because I tested it on the previous uh, save too. Where I had uh, the wall with both flamethrowers, landmines and the normal walls. 
Just removing the landmines increases my UPS. It's not that big of an issue. If it is at all. Once, uh, once I hit that problem, I will fix that problem. But for now... I'm okay. And the biters are not going to path. I mean, nah, pathfinding. Pathfinding is only an issue is they are, if they are trying to pathfind a lot. But because we are only, like I said, protecting from the expansions, not the attacks, then the only pathfinding is happening because of the expansion, and that only happens every four minutes. So it's not that often. Compared to the normal protection wall. But yeah, I am out of oil, I think, right? Oil, zero. Look at this. Um, this oil says destination full though. Hold on. Am I just using it too quickly? Hold on, oil. Or was this train just filled up? Where's my oil? Over here. Someone is coming here with my oil, yes. I think I just need uh, the bigger buffer area here. Maybe. Where's the train that's coming here? Add into crude oil. This is the one. Oh, I have a train situation here a little bit. Everyone is standing. Why is this one going that way? Oh, because it's for sulfur? And the sulfur is blocked by the... <laughs> what did I do here? Alright. How many sulfur trains do I have? Stations. Sulfur. Alright. I think I just uh, changed this. To, to disable station. Alright. So this is going for a different loading. Okay. I'm not actually out of oil, it's just my trains are a little bit, like, wrongly set up here. Efficiency module... Was not placed there. What's the last stop that I did where I'm also outputting the um, the modules? Module one. Where did I do that? Not here. I only built this station, right? The, the stone, and it's not here. Where was it? <laughs> what else was I building today? I remember placing a filter 
have a module, right? <clears throat> I have no idea where it is. Alright, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter because I need to copy this station. Right? This is my station that I'm going to be copying. Uh, and... The module is in the second to last. This is the one. And a stack filter, jet provider. But this is going to be a different one. Now, anyone remembers where was I doing that? Uh, because I said the circuit also there, right? Where would I do that? Is it over, or is it over here? It is not over here. I think I was setting up it up over here because this is two roboports and I don't want two roboports, right? One of them is supposed to be not the roboport. One of them is supposed to be the uh, the other thing. I didn't change the filter to be a, a module. Filter. Module. Ten of them. This is what I wanted to do, right? You know what? Fuck <laughs> the exile. Okay, fine, I will not play it. Ugh. Okay, what's the next thing that I want to do? Uh, I should also be clearing every... Every worms that I have in my base. You started at level 92 and you now you're still level 92. And I just haven't killed any of the last five bosses I tried to kill. Well, I killed one boss today, which is the uh, the floor. We have the floor. What's the next boss? The wall is one of the bosses that I'm still like <laughs> working on for the last 10 streams, probably. The yellow signs. If that's going to happen anytime soon, I 
come here to clean up some of the worms. Actually, it's better. Yo, it makes me want to punch someone. <laughs> <coughs> I did not want to punch anyone when I was playing it. I just wanted to close the game and then I did it. That's what I did, punched TMDQ, but game didn't quit. <laughs> Had to click in the menu. This over here is connected wrongly. So I'm only making half of a belt here instead of a full belt. It's a good thing, game prevents that. I'm sure I would have accidentally closed the game because of all the key shortcuts in the game. It's just that the CMDQ is not a good shortcut, I think. It should be Alt F4. Alt F4 is much harder to do, so like you will, you never, like, like it should not be uh, such a simple thing as CMDQ. 
I think. We can... Yeah. I remember when I tried using Mac, that I was misclicking all the time. Because there is uh, something like... What is it like? The CMDW, for example, right? It closes a tab, right, for you? In a browser. And I was misclicking and pressing CMDQ instead because it's like too close to each other. Maybe something else also. I like, I, but I remember it being annoying. I used the Mac for a little bit. So, yeah. Eventually, I just installed Linux on it. And it became better. And then eventually I get got rid of that laptop too. Browser implement a feature that it tell you to hold CMDQ for a while to really quit. It works great. Yeah, I guess that is better. A little bit. <clears throat> okay, I'm just uh, finding all the worms, just so that I can clean up a little bit my base, at least from the worms. To accidental quick just show semi transparency message show hold and it's like maybe half a second to hold it or something. Yeah 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 no 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 it's good. It's good. I agree. I mean maybe that is better than Alta 4. Actually, but I didn't try that. Also, maybe that should be on the operating system level, so that... Because CMDQ sends the message to the window that you want to quit. So it should not be a browser feature, it should be the o o like, like the operating system feature, right? If you try to exit the Docker container... I don't work in Docker's... Maybe it is the operating system feature? By closing the... Maybe maybe that's why the uh, Path of Exile didn't quit. Maybe you needed to hold. You just don't see this transparent window. Because it's the game. And it's working a little different. Did you hold? Let me try. So you're opening Path of Exile again? <laughs> it's fine. You can you can try it on some other like program. Uh, how am I doing on oil now? Since I reconnected the trains, oil was over here. 
I have a little bit of oil, yes. And then I... One more oil. Right, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I should be good. The research should continue. Binchboard just casted a skill. That was in fact the holding. So I'm guessing that the Path of Exile is just like ignoring the quit command. But the quick man command is being sent by holding. Oh, just in the queue? So, okay, so it is a browser feature then, or what? Okay. A little bit more. a chromium feature. <clears throat> okay. Does it mean that if I open chrome and I will need to like hold alt F4 or is it only a Mac thing? So they are only fixing Max. Because Max needs to be fixed, nothing wrong with Windows or Linux, right? It's always the Apple. Those needs to be fixed in everything else. <laughs> I don't know. If I was to choose between Mac and Windows, I would choose Windows. Hmm. 
No nicks on Windows. Well, I would uh, be having a Linux inside the virtual machine. That's how I was. That's how this PC was before. I had a. I had basically uh, the Windows and Linux at the same time. Not the not the WSL, but the actual virtual machine is what I had. Being forced into Windows 11 does suck though. I don't know, I... Was... Uh, what Were you... Was anyone forced? Or is it like forced eventually? Or what? Is Windows 10 end of life already? I know that Windows 7 is out of life... Is end of life. I don't know, I just updated to Windows 11, it was okay. When you get a new device, I got a new laptop and it had to have 11. What's wrong with Windows 11 though? I don't think there is anything wrong with it. There was nothing wrong with it in my experience. Like, you have to update your Mac a lot more often than you have to update your Windows. So that sucks, that my old Mac cannot run because, like, it has to be updated. And the new operating system works like shit on it. And it happens more often than it happens with Windows. Unless something changed in the last 10 years, but I don't think it did, right? Science working. My blue science is my blue science working. It is. Right. Good.
would help will help with what I mean I will place a rail here to the wall that I'm going to build somewhere around here go in there again it's not too bad, like, I, uh, it's not too far from a rail here. It's not too far from a rail, it's like 10 seconds on a car. I don't think it matters. But for when I'm, I'm going to build a rail to connect to the wall that I'm going to build. But, um figure out where I will build it. I mean, rails... Ah, it's okay. It's like, I could have rails on me, but this means less landmines. Put a raider over here. This should give me the idea of where the wall should go. Really? Drink of water? Will. The one missing item, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> What's the floor doing? I see some of the efficiency models. Okay. For this steel smeltery. Other than that. It looks like my concrete is placed down the floor. Is also missing some of the inserters, okay. When you will be eighty you will be able you will tell your grandchildren what it was like to drink fresh water. 
And not recycled body fluids. How do you know that the water that you are drinking is not recycled? I'm not really, I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Maybe it is already recycled body fluids. It's just been recycled by the nature, you know. Fast inserters and efficiency modules. I know that I placed a chest of efficiency modules somewhere, and I probably will not know where it is. So... Let's go get more. Uh, I'll take a little bit of the productivity too. And then a little bit of the efficiency. That was about 50 seconds. Sorry, I left you for so long. Uh, but I will live soon or even longer. Because I need to end the stream soon. I lied today as well. I said I'll be back in 15 30 minutes, and I was back in 14 minutes.
Surders. Should be enough. I think I should order heart-shaped pizza or burger today and it reward me for breaking up with Path of Exile. <laughs> it's only one day, it's too, it's too early to say that you ended up. Did you uninstall it or did you just close the game? You already opened it uh, one more time after you quit. Today, right? Like when she comes to bring her stuff. Um, Alright, anyway. Anyway. This is the beginning of the new base. We have the floor. And this is the first thing that goes into the base. Uh, next, we will need the mall, I guess. And before the mall, actually before the mall, I need a smeltery, right? I need to smeltery for the three things, and I will need the um, um, the electronic circuits too, both green and red. I think I, I could have fitted this all into a much smaller, in, like into the, into this area. There's a lot of space here that is going to be unused, unfortunately, but... I don't think I'm going to change that. Maybe later. Maybe at some point I will. But, uh, yeah. That's basically all the progress for today. What else did I do? Research the... Um... I wish there was a history of my researches. This is not the history. Energy shield mark 2. Rocket fuel. I will need to do the rocket fuel. Yeah. But for today, this is going to be it. 
So thank you guys for watching. Let's find someone to raid. Alright. Laseric. Playing by modes with Dr. Doof. Alright. I know Dr. Doof. I don't know Laseric. But let's go there. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.